Good morning, everyone. I have a video today. Actually, I want to see how many diamond paintings I have in my whips. So I can pull something and try to finish, <laughs> actually. So first, before I show you what I still have, because recently I was trying to finish some of them, some of them start you know again new project that I want to start and first I want to show you can I use something but my recent uh, finishes uh, this year not all of them but uh, this one was I was doing like around the uh, Easter time I think so yeah this is bunny that I was kind of a little bit disappointed it was much beautiful more colors was in the picture than actual diamond painting but from far still look good okay so this is the smallest one then I have this cute owls that I really really like this one with square diamonds the bunny was in the round so this one is awesome I have to frame it and put next to my owl in here in the dining room that I already have too. So this is cute. Uh, when I will have like, I was going to go outside and shoot this video outside in the sun, but it's very windy these days. And I know the strong wind kind of interfere with camera and make those very loud noises and I don't like that. So I'm just going to wait till it's a little bit more kind of to a quiet day. Now my other finish that I have, these beautiful birds. And I do like them, watercolor birds. Not much sparkles we can see right now, but that's all we can get from chandelier. All right. And with this one, I have, like I have this, like this, uh, you know, container with the those little tiny uh, square jars so my birds organizer was in here and then here I have cottage I used to have a three diamond paintings in here so I still have a cottage in here so that's why I'm thinking since I already finished this bird I need to finish cottage so I can reorganize these leftovers diamonds and put them away because I have too many containers, organizers with leftovers diamonds that I need to reorganize them but I still did not do it. Um, now the cottage that I'm talking about is this one and this is in my whips now, okay? We are going to make, oh hold on, before whips. Uh, I have one more finish. Just a minute. How could I forget? Just a minute. My precious finish. Last week I finished this. This is my precious finish. My custom. My custom daisy. Okay. 50 by 70 centimeters. Now it's done and looks like a real bouquet of flowers. I really like it. Really like it. Diamonds in here are very, very nice and sparkle. And they look such a three dimensional. I really, really love it. So that is my custom flowers from my garden. And actually those days is about to start to bloom. It start to open up, so we will see them in the garden again. So that's my finishes lately. Not too many, not too many. But the cottage that I'm talking about is this one. I started a long time ago. And I was testing out, so basically this part in here on the top, as you can tell, it's done. Just a, yeah, few gems here and there missing. I don't know if they fall out or not. But this is the cottage, you see, like this design is absolutely gorgeous. The house looks so amazing. But this is a very bad canvas. 
See, like it's very, very pretty garden. But this is one of those canvases you remember. I told you that gems are sliding glue, like it's not very sticky. So if I put, for example, usually I use my uh, whips under my table mat. If I would put the mat move, the diamonds would be smudged. So you have to be very careful with it. So I decided I will finish this as much as it's pay painful it is. I will finish and I do have a diamonds in here and I have a whole bunch of diamonds in here already placed like randomly just hard kind of to see them but I do have some diamonds under there already so I decided to finish at the same time I will empty my container for another diamond painting organizer you know will be empty and because I do have a good sealer for diamonds now and I do have some videos tutorials how I did so I will put the gems into the place later so it will not move at all after I'm done with it because it is gorgeous design and I don't want to just throw away because of the little bit slippery situation in here. So I decided I will be finished. So this is my next design to whip and chat with you and I am going to take this to finish. Okay, so this is my first whip. Now, what else I have from older whips? I will show you first my older whips, what is left. Uh, the smallest one that I have in here probably would be would be this one and because it's an old design it was with this you know double sided glue um, yeah and that is my piano girl I have some diamonds and because this canvas is like almost like a black and white but like a grayish uh, like this old time photo picture you know brownish grayish it's hard to work on it but I finished all the black diamonds in here I placed a little bit corner in here so if I can show you a little bit I put parchment paper in here a little bit because it was a sticky or something I don't know why I changed that so I put some little bit diamonds up there as you can see like this and if I could open which way can I open a little bit can we open okay let's open gentle this is very old canvas and I when I started to work on it I said okay I would love to do this for Catherine and if I can finish this to her sweet 16 that would be good enough so this canvas was never for me into like to finish finish I was just working as much as I could because it's a difficult canvas to work on so as you can see there's a beautiful girl in a ballroom or maybe she's a bride or there's a Victorian so piano this uh, dark part you see it's finished and she is gorgeous and those diamonds are like not the best because it's a very old uh, some of these diamonds I would say smaller bit like they not the best diamonds in here because it's a very old blend but I will continue because it is beautiful design will take me a little bit longer but I have to work little by little because Catherine will be 15 on the end of this you know summer so I have to start a little bit so this is my second whip that I have from older ones uh, my very huge huge uh, whip that I have my husband and I that one like meter 30 or something very big I didn't bring here maybe you will remember I can link it up for you a video that I have existing on my channel but I did not bring in here because it's very big and it's like it's on the bottom of some other canvases laying flat on the table I did not want to disturb because this also was double-sided tape and it was lots of air bubbles so I did not I used some I diamond paint but then like I don't have much of the 
it's just a little bit holding me away to diamond paint army because of the situation of the diamonds now this one my whip and why i don't work on it because this canvas not exist anymore for you to purchase and this one is full gems so because of that maybe i just did not work on it but it is very beautiful and I think, you know, I should work on it no matter what. I know you cannot purchase anymore. But this is, you see, all those beautiful sparkle gems. And this is City. I don't know if this is Chicago or this is uh, Shanghai. I'm not sure which city this is. I can't remember now. But there, maybe you can recognize the city. So, only is done. It's kind of like in here this part and I started building in here so not much in here but I think I will have to go back and start to work little by little on it so this is number three well with the custom would be four and another one design that I really love and I just purposely not finishing just to keep in my whips <laughs> but I need to finish and this is my beautiful arrangement of flowers that I always wanted to have this as a cross stitch as well. So I placed diamonds in here a lot. So it's kind of like from this one mostly down in here. Just a little bit missing in here gems. But like this part all it's done. And you can see how beautiful that is. This canvas beautiful. Love the background. A lot of that. the flowers looks amazing. So basically, just a few in here, like on a greenery left, and this row was not fully done, but most like let's say from here, like it's finished and looks beautiful. This flowers is fully finished. Yeah. Just check. You know, I rolled them, and diamonds in here are very very shiny like glazy they look very uh, can we see diamonds not much it's far away from camera to me too i should bring camera a little bit more forward to me uh all right so this is another one very beautiful whip that i love it love it love it and then i have this from the older ones you know i'm just going to keep this one big one on the table in here because it feels like it's going to slip on the floor and the chairs doesn't fit very well and especially this one I don't want to get damaged so it's going to stay like this this design is also double-sided you can see why I don't work on them as much because it's all this double-sided glue that kind of not fun to, to work on it and the design is it's the gears maybe we can open a little bit okay can you recognize now design and all i did in here it's this part and i was doing little by little because in here was lots of air bubbles i was poking them there's lots of rivers kind of in here so i was doing just the top and it looks nice and bright you see the top when it's done it's going to be very beautiful but again and i do have a same design that is proper glue but i'm stubborn i want to finish this one i want to finish this one i cannot throw away because it's it is beautiful so that's my other whip that will be time from time i will work on it for now i'm just going to pull out this cottage on the top because this is going to be my priority to finish and now a newer one newer one did i bring my canvas that uh hold on i think i forgot to bring one canvas i did forget to bring one canvas ah uh, why did i do that um all right, when my camera stops, I will go and bring them maybe. So my recent newest one that I started, and that is that we just did with you 
video that I started tested out six colors so far and all I did you can see from far a little bit in here a little bit in here and I didn't work on it anymore and that is actually beautiful canvas with the, like a short length canvas from capture by radiance and that is a beautiful design so all I did is just a little bit on the top because that was my first video review um, to see the diamonds diamonds absolutely gorgeous so this is going to be my whip for sure especially this is the first canvas from this company so I will have to boost a little bit my speed and work on it so we can see more diamonds of it and see actual finish design I love this bag how they came nice and fancy and then I put in the bag or maybe I should just keep them all flat after this video uh, next one what I have in here I have two canvas a dreamer design that is kind of a little bit older so this is my beautiful whip I already have a little bit AB diamonds in here some test mostly diamonds I give I hear a place a little bit in here and not much in here but that is a whip it is beautiful Italy and I have to work on it so there's I don't know if you can see or not but just a little bit I'm done in here okay so that's my dreamers whip I roll them always when it's empty kind of inside like this so the it doesn't stretch my clear sheet and not to create like a wrinkles so we have this dreamers and I have one more dreamers in here okay and I'm done much much more in here and this is my Santa all right This is beautiful design. Find a point. Okay. And that's the canvas. And put his boots and cat and on the bottom of there. It's already done this portion on the bottom. And here diamonds are super sparkle. And that's the um Oh, Baradians, um, I keep forgetting the name of the company yet. So they are similar, I think, at diamonds from same factory because the diamonds, same, very, very sparkle and beautiful. As you can see, it's already half those diamonds are shining. So, yes, it feels to me like it's the same blend of those diamonds. Very pretty. So I have to continue, if it's a summer, we still have to continue to finish before winter. Because it is gorgeous, would be displayed before, you know. I have to finish before winter. Especially now when I have a beautiful uh, big light pad, I can work on this table and the light pad from... Uh, our, our, uh, Oh my goodness, hold on. Isn't it? <laughs> Am I crazy? Yes, it is. Okay, so this one is Dreamer design as well. And then I have I have one more Dreamer design, but for some reason I didn't bring here because for a while I couldn't find a diamonds what I have those in here. Okay, my little little clips okay so in here i have the humongous castle that i started to review and this castle is obviously huge and it's still going and it's still going 
and it's going it's going it's going it's going very big canvas from cool deals you can order up there any size you want because they produce any sizes and then round or square diamonds whatever you want so this one also nice big canvas to work on the light pad and so what i was working only on the bottom so far to place diamonds a little bit in here mostly i was just doing this dark patch in here to see if you're going to see it. actually i'm interested to see on the camera okay i see some kind of like a window light coming out okay maybe it will be all right oh and the camera looks much nicer so it's a still very dark area and remember i started to work on one this is like a second one because the last time uh, first time i received was a wrong diamonds uh, give me wrong diamonds and was um, totally mess so i'm kind of redoing it twice same thing that's why a little bit slower but this design is huge, it's beautiful, and I definitely have to work on it. I did finish one of the Magical Castle, but I think that design was maybe 50 by 70 or 50 by uh, 60. I don't know, I can't remember now, but I did finish one small design of the castle. It is gorgeous, if I can show you, how it will be easy just to place like this sideway and the size of this design do i have a, okay 80 by 130 centimeters this way is 80 and this is also was a flat material i'm not sure if they still doing it or not and this canvas was folded in a box so it, it came out all those folds came out as you can see it's nice and not visible any folds in here so I'm okay with that. Are you counting how many we have so far? Because I don't. I will count on the end, I guess. And I'm just using this like a for the seven little clips to pinch edges to keep in place. Okay. And what else I have in here? Oh, this one is my custom roses that I started only. Oh, love my roses. This is also custom from Putils. And I started, where is my start? Okay, I started. So this is stop. Yeah, this is stop. This one is 90 by 120 and I started on the bottom. I was testing out diamonds and actually I placed a little bit in here, but there's not much you can see really, but diamonds are beautiful. Diamonds beautiful if I can stretch my arms. So you can see some, some shine a little bit. It's going to be amazing. This is my treasure. I'm so happy for this picture. So this is the biggest, the biggest canvas. Let's restart camera because it's stuck already and I have one more to show you. Uh, this is my last whip that I have. So I don't think I have like lots of whips. I just have big one whips. So this is original that I brought from my downstairs room to finish and guess what I could not remember where I put my diamonds so I was looking for a few days where is my diamonds till today I realized I did reorganize them and put in one of my bigger containers from our dot and that's why I couldn't find it so this is from dreamers design as well and mostly of this side is done and it's also like the diamonds are just so gorgeous so it's a very long design and it says fine soft day uh, Leon Kelly 
designer. This is, of course, all Dreamers design are um, license. And I started in here a little bit. There's a big sky patch in here. If you can see, there's an AB, AB diamonds up there. No, it's far away to show me. But also in here I have some diamonds in green and white and pink, I think. So this is my other whip that I wanted to finish. So this is, was my original to finish. Till I stuck, couldn't find my diamonds. So I pull out my cottage instead. So actually cottage and this design will be two that I really want to finish because it's been for a long time. I know I still have lots of place in here, but I will finish cottage first, then I will finish this one. There's some very sticky situation in here, so I, I have to use this uh, sheets to cover up. Let me just roll it for now. And I'm just going to show you how for now I store my diamonds because diamonds I have this beautiful organizers containers from Arta and let me maybe I just going to let me just roll it put this away a little bit and I will show you diamonds where I keep my diamonds so I have some in this organizer okay maybe I can push my table forward so you can see better and then I have oh, this bigger one um, would be good to put away this okay so as you can see this two big organizers so in this one on the bottom in here, I have two diamond painting that I already finished. It's my uh, rabbit and uh, the one, the owls that I finished. So I have a diamonds up there. I have to put them away. But in here on the top, I have existing one that I have to work with. And that is, yes, um, the one that I just showed you, the new one, Captured by Radiance. So I have all diamonds I put in here. And it's comfortable because you can just pull it out like that. And I just can put away this one. So two in here I have two layers of this organizer. So obviously in here I can still put another canvas to organize if I want to. And maybe like four on the bottom. So that's good. And fit in here everything. My extra diamonds in here. The funnel and tools and the DMC. So this one is for Radiance, captured by Radiance, my diamonds in here. And this organizer is much, 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 much bigger. And I have in here, how many canvases I have in here? A lot. I have in here, okay. There's my castle and my roses okay the pink castle that i just showed you and my pink custom roses so in here i have roses on the top and castle in here and i know it's in here because i have my sheets in here for them and diamonds and also if i have a diamonds uh, also diamonds in here from different um, designs that is on the bottom in here so let me show you some of them in here from my custom uh, from my husband and I and then we open the second one when we open the second one I have in here picture you see like um, Santa has arrived and I have in here this is my okay let me check because i have a, like a, a little okay so here is santa i know it's here because i have a sticker in here so this is santa and in here i reorganize my custom and i put you know name my husband and i so i know this bottom diamonds is from my the huge huge canvas that i have downstairs that you did not see so I put my diamonds in here 
and then when I pull out this tray I have another tray and in here I have what is in here oh that's the one Italian city that we just see by dreamer design and in here find soft day by dreamer design that's the one diamonds that I was looking for looking because I remember they were in a little container a long container from dollar store and I just couldn't find it I totally forgot that I decided to reorganize them and put them here so I have some few extras in here and I have some you know AB diamonds from dreamer I don't know if you can see or not from there so two canvases in here two huge canvases in here so all together I have in this organizer six big canvases this the, the biggest container I'm using for the biggest canvases so now I know they are all in here and trust me this is like probably millions of, <laughs> I don't know how many thousand diamonds in here uh, so this is going to be my organizing in here the smaller one organizer that I have this one now I finish in here was my um, my daisy canvas so in here I have some leftovers from my daisy diamonds and also there is another canvas was here that I still have a diamonds from crafties the rose and the girl so I still have some so this one all I have to put away diamonds from this organizer and then I will start one diamond painting and I will show you which one because I'm taking that one to the campground so I can show you now and I will use this uh, small organizer that I got from art that you know the four seasons so this is the little tiny one I will take with me to to the campground and let me show you this tubes from dollar store and this is the one that I would love to start it's a little Ukrainian design so I would love to work on it at the campground and create videos so I will kick it up because in here those little tiny diamonds you know those little tiny bags um, so I will kitten up and work a little bit and this weekend Sherry will come camp with us so we are going to create some crafty weekend with my BFF and I think this is it for now if I forget something I will definitely will let you know but how many canvases now in my whips? Um, let me count. One, two, three, four, five. This one, uh, this one, little one will be six. And then seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Now I still have, on the top of this 12, I do have three canvases that I kitten up, but I did not place even one diamond. So I'm not going to consider them as a whip, just to keep away from my whips numbers. But for now, that's the whips numbers that I have. So next we are going to work on this cottage. The cottage is beautiful. Uh, by now I'm sure the blue probably much better but before was a bad blue and I really like the way it looks in here looks looks really good looks good but I will have to seal that or I'm going to lose diamonds all the time because they just looks beautiful fall time amazing that's it for now my friends thank you for staying with me and I will see you tomorrow with something. What's tomorrow? Tomorrow should be Tuesday. Not sure what we have, but have a good day anyway.